With a couple of taps of your finger, you can be successfully entered into my giveaway of a sealed Sun and Moon Booster Box. All you need to do is tap the I card at the top right hand corner of the video, go to my opening of every generation's box, like the video, subscribe, tap the bell next to the subscribe button, and finally drop a comment in the comment section of that video, and bam, you're entered. Be sure to get in quick, entries end soon. What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and on the weekend just gone, I attended a Sun and Moon pre-release event. So for those guys who do not, do not know what a Sun and Moon pre-release event is, it's basically where you get one of these baddies and you get four packs inside of this and then you also get uh, two bonus packs for attending the event and all that sort of jazz and participating. And um, I'm here today to share with you guys my live pack pulls from the pre-release event. So it's going to be a little bit of a different video today. Um, due to the events being so kind of loud and noisy, I decided just to record the pack, um, pack openings as like an ASMR, like silent opening. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna voice over it, so it's a, it's gonna be a bit of a different video, but you guys will still get to see uh, what pulls I got from my very first six packs of Sun and Moon. So if you guys are keen to see what we get out of these packs today and Sun and Moon hype, be sure to drop a like down below. And with that said, let's get straight into the video. So after struggling for a solid like. 30 seconds we finally busted into the shrink wrap that was surrounding the sun and moon pre-release kit it looks pretty cool um this is actually the first time i'm getting hands on with one of these pre-release kits and um yeah so we got we got it open here first thing you see there is like a, a little brochure to tell you how the pre-release kind of runs then we got our little um custom deck build i got the butterfree crowbat Aronguru promo kind of deck build. I was going to open that up and then I realized uh, it's alright, we need to get cracking into these packs so we can start building the actual uh, deck for the pre release event. So um, I, I got this, <laughs> I, I struggled terribly, like just kind of getting everything open and everything at the event. It was just a big struggle. But anyway, we got our four packs here. They give you one of, uh, well, I was going to say one of each pack art, but we're missing one clearly there because in this set it actually has five pack arts. But we've got the Incineroar pack art to kick things off. And as you guys can see here, the struggle is real. Just like I was saying, it was it was terrible. But there we go. We've got to, got to hide the color of the code because as you guys know, the, the code cards are spoilers. But um, as you guys see there, I did three and two. Just off, I went into default mode. Um, you guys know the pack trick for Sun and Moon is actually four and two. And um, yeah, so you're going to see see here we've got the reverse holo pops up early. And then we've got the three uncommons. You got Timer Ball, Pinsir, and then Repel. Repel's pretty good. And then straight off the bat, we got Ace Team Skull Grunt Full Art. I mean, I was like, are you serious? Because I, I tend to have this um this thing at pre-release events where I pull Full Art trainers. Um, just at almost every single one I go to, it's in it's it's actually pretty wild. I think at my my last pre-release event at the Steam Siege one, I got a Pokemon Ranger Full Art. So it was like, okay, alrighty, coming back back at it again. But there we go. I did three and two again, and I realized I'm like, oh no, it's supposed to be four and two. But we got a Morlow, a Sandy Gast, a Dratini, a Diglett, Bounce Wheat, a Brion Reverse Hollow, Rainbow Energy, a Crocorock, a Puku Muku. Bruxish, a fire energy, and that's all she wrote. Our Bruxish there was our rare. So our third pack from the pre-release kit, we got the Sogaleo pack art. Struggling miserably as per the usual to get the pack art open. So there we go. I finally learned here by the third pack in. We did the four and the two. So everything should be running pretty smoothly here. We got a Young Goose, Shelter, Zubat, a Poplio, Stuffle. A Darkness Energy, Dragonair, Golbat, a Pokemon Catcher, Parasect Reverse Holo of a Rare, and then we got a Crocodile Holo as well. And I really love the the look of the Holos on um on the Holos from this set. The the Holo foil itself, it's like an imitation of the GX, where it's kind of I don't know, it's it's really wavy, and I, I really quite like it. Let me know your thoughts on the Holo holo foil in the comment section below do you prefer this one over the xy series or do you like black and white as well actually uh, let me know black and white xy or sun and moon in the comment section below there we go so we did the pack trick right again and our final pack here we've got a chin chow 
a Rattata, Rog and Roller, a Marini, a Crab Brawler, a Lightning Energy, Rotom Dex, a, P a Pissimian, a How, Boldor, and a Masquerade Regular Rare. So, nothing all too fancy out of the final pack, but that was a pretty epic pre release kit to say the least. Our hi highlight pull definitely being the full art team, team Skull Grunt. But yeah. So that was a pretty epic four packs from the pre-release kit. But so we've, uh, it's after the event now, we've made our way back to the Booster King setup and um, he needed to see the pulls. I was going to kind of save these for when I got home and open them at my leisure, but we're here in the Booster King setup and um, we're cracking into the two bonus packs that we got for attending the event. So out of this first pack here, we've got a, <laughs> a Wingull. Once I get the camera set up, come on Brody, he can do it. <laughs> we got a Wingull, a Poplio, Growlithe, Grubbin, a Zubat, we got a Unlisted Leaf Energy, an Araquanid, a Professor Kukui, a Golbat, a Growlithe Reverse Hollow, and then we got an Incineroar Regular Rare. It's got 160 HP with Fire Fang and Darkest Lariat. Alrighty, so for this next pack here, um, we kind of get something good, so uh, uh, in real life Brody comes into play here and um, we'll swap audios over and then I'll come back after this clip. Oh. Oh. You've Ooh. got to talk. Talk, damn it. He felt something good. Talk, Alrighty, guys. damn it. So I, I've had to add some vocals in because I've actually felt something insane up the back here. I was going to just kind of voice over the whole thing, but it's it's happening. We've got an Eevee, a Crab Brawler, um, Mir Mirini, yeah, yeah, a Marini, an Alolan Diglett, a Lightning Energy, Crocorock, an Araquanid, Experience Share. Oh, we got a Reverse Holo Ultra Ball. Is that a sign? Is that a sign? And... Oh, we got a oh. Professor Kakui full art. Oh man, the height was there, you guys. The height was there. We got a Professor Kakui full art. So this card looks absolutely amazing. Look at the color scheme. I love how the orange and the silver kind of just really make Kakui pop. But yeah, what an epic pull. We got two full art trainers from the pre-release event. I'm so stoked about that, you guys. So overall, the event was really successful, opened up six packs, and we got these two amazing full art pulls. The, the pull ratios on these, these things is insane enough as it is, and to get two out of six packs really just made the event amazing. So yeah, I'm so glad I was able to share, you, um, share with you guys these the pulls that I got from these six packs and my kind of experience of opening Sun and Moon for the first time. Um, and I'm, I'm so keen to be cracking into Sun and Moon on the channel in the near future. Uh, release date's coming up in the next couple of days, so that is, that's exciting. But if you guys did enjoy today's opening of my six Sun and Moon booster packs, be sure to drop a like down below. And with that said, I'm going to get up out of here. Thanks for watching today's opening, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.